All right, here we are doing another live. Um, if you're joining in live on Facebook or on Instagram, just drop me a hashtag live in the comment section below. If you're watching the replay, just say hashtag replay. I would love to hear from you. Um, I love to have interactions, conversations. Um, let me know where you're tuning in from, where you are in the world, um, and just really tell me anything about yourself related to um, what you do in electronic music or what you aspire to do. Um, for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Eileen. I am a holistic life coach and I get to help people who are active in nightlife, who love electronic music, to find their direction so that they can feel confident about the lifestyle they choose and build a life around their passion for electronic music without wrecking their health and mental well-being. So basically, this is a high-pressured environment, especially now there's a lot of uncertainty. So I help anybody who is passionate about working in electronic music to stay mentally sane. That's really what I'm doing in a nutshell. Um, again, if you're tuning in live, um, just let me know, say hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, say hashtag replay. I would love to hear from you. Um, today, I'm going to talk about um, setting goals in electronic music, but not just having your goals set, um, but also how a goal is actually an outcome of value. So just having your goals set for your music um, or your music career in electronic music alone is not going to guarantee your success. So it's not about setting the goals per se, um, but it's really about what you are looking to achieve with those goals, the essence of what you're looking to achieve and what you're actually doing it for. And so those are your values, the essence of what you're doing it for, and your goals are actually supporting those values. And that really looks differently for everybody. And I want to use an example, something that I came across um, actually just this morning online. So thank you to the original poster for posting this question because it really actually triggered me to think about this a little bit more and to provide this as an example for you to demonstrate why just having your goal set um, and music is not going to guarantee your success, why a goal is actually an outcome of a value and what that can actually look like. So um, the example I want to give is DJing um, because you just like it versus DJing for the attention. Um, there are some conversations sometimes about people who um, do it just to get the attention um, and that's really frowned upon. Um, I see a lot of conversations about that online and also in my own friend group um, among my clients. This is really something I hear um, kind of coming up a lot and that seems to be a limiting belief. It seems to be like it's not okay to want attention. Um, there's a lot of negative connotation attached to wanting attention um, and I feel like that's definitely a huge conversation when you are working in electronic music, especially as a DJ. So I wanted to use this as an example because in my opinion, um, you know, your goal to DJ or to get your next DJ gig um, per se is not um, really what it's all about. Um, it's about what's below that. And so if it is because you feel like, yeah, I kind of like the attention, then again, it's actually not about the attention. It's about what you want the attention for. And so here's where we're diving a little bit deeper. We're peeling back the layers of the onion. So what could you possibly want the attention for? And I want to say this, it's okay to want attention, okay? It's okay that there is nothing wrong with wanting attention. I know there is a lot of negativity around that, but it's okay. And again, nobody truly really is into DJing just for the attention. And I know you may think, yeah, but there's like huge, you know, profiles out there, um, you know, of DJs that just seem to want to do it for the fame. Well, honestly, even if it's, on the surface level about that, there is always something beneath it. How superficial it may seem to you, um, I want you, I want to get you to think about what's below that. What is the essence of what you wish to achieve, um, even if your, your goal is to get attention? So let's look at what you would want to use this attention for. Okay, 
So let's just say um, you have a DJ gig, you love the attention. Um, if you ask a lot of DJs around you, um, in your network, in your group of friends, or just really, you know, read interviews about, you know, DJs who are already a bit more, you know, higher level, more um, experienced than you, you will see that a lot of DJs really just love to share the music with people who come to listen to them, whether it's a live stream or, or a gig, let's just say a DJing gig, okay? And just to make it easier um, in this current circumstances to talk about DJing. But so DJs really love to share their music with people. They love how the music makes them feel and they want people to feel um, good about it as well. They want, they want people to feel as good as they do about the music. They want that sense of connection. Um, they want to really be able to um, make people feel good, make people dance, uh, make people feel happy, make people feel proud of themselves, satisfied, um, be able to be themselves. They want, they want that connection. They want people to enjoy the story that they are telling with the selection of tracks that they made. Um, and, and okay, sometimes people are really about, oh, this was a bad mix, or I fucked it up there, or I did this wrong. People don't really listen to that. And if they are, well, just forget about them. <laughs> um, but it's really about what's behind the, the feeling like, yeah, I kind of like the attention when I'm DJing. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not a bad person for liking the attention or even wanting the attention. The thing is just that um, you have to put yourself out there somehow if you want to get to to more DJ gigs, if you want to maybe be signed to a label, if you're a producer making music, um, you have to put yourself out there. You have to actually ask to get that attention from people. Um, and so there is nothing wrong with that because you do have goals, but those goals will support your values. Those goals will not be the end all be all outcome, like the ending points. That's not what this is about. Um, the goal of getting the DJ gig for example, is actually about supporting the values below it. And that's really having more, more of those moments of connections with other people, connections with um, the public that's listening to you, uh, maybe even connections with other DJs that you can you know, share um, tracks with, or, or I don't know, geeky talk with, or I don't know, whatever floats your boat. So again, just having your goals set. Um, for example, as I said, uh, having your next DJ gig, is not going to guarantee your success if you don't know what's behind it, if you don't know what the value is behind it, and then if you don't know which value you are looking to support with it. And your value, again, I'm repeating myself, your value is really the essence behind what you wish to achieve. It's what you're doing it all for. So again, if you're looking to get attention, that's okay. Just ask yourself, what am I going to use this attention for? If you want to reply to my question, then feel free to drop it in the comments below. If you have any other thoughts popping up or questions about this, then really I'm happy to have a conversation with you. Um, so just drop anything that you're thinking in the comments below. If you like my video, give me some thumbs up, some hearts. Um, and if you have any other questions regarding um, setting goals for yourself in general, and you don't know how to do that, this is exactly what I help my clients with. Um, and so if you want to talk to me about what your possibilities can look like, how I help my clients with setting their goals for their music, then just drop me a DM. We will hop on a 15 minute call and we will talk about your possibilities, where exactly to put your energy and what that can look like for you specifically geared towards your situation. So if you want to talk to me um, about all of this, it's really, um, it's at no charge. Don't worry. Um, and yeah, it's just really about exploring your, your um, possibilities and discovering where to put your energy before you decide um, what you will commit to. And it's really important that we get to have that conversation first before we actually both commit our time and our energy to anything. So again, if this is something that you sound like you need help with, um, if you are really having troubles with setting goals for your music, then come talk to me, I can help. Um, just send me a DM and we will hop on a call and talk further. Okay, so that was it for today. Um, I hope you will have a rest, a lovely rest of your day um, and a, a nice weekend coming up and I will talk to you next week. Bye.